Bible plainly tells us that God's holy angels are working to help us, and evil spirits are working to destroy us. We cannot see them, but they are real. But today more and more people do not believe that there are really evil spirits, and many people think that the holy angels are the spirits of people who have died. But the Bible reveals that there were angels before a human being had died, so angels cannot be the spirits of dead people. Angels work with God to help bring us to salvation. The prophet Daniel saw 10,000 times 10,000 of these holy creatures. The angels are so fast and glorious that they look like a flash of lightning. The angel that came to the tomb of Jesus when Jesus was resurrected had a face like lightning, and his clothes were as white as snow. And the men who were guarding the tomb of Jesus were so afraid of the angel that they became as dead men. Angels have been sent to help and guide God's servants in all ages. Everyone who follows Jesus has an angel to guard and protect them. Our angel protects us from the power of Satan. The angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him and delivers them. God sends us help from the angels because we need it. We need grace and protection because there are evil powers trying to destroy us. In the beginning, these evil spirits were pure and holy angels, but they joined Satan in his rebellion against God, and now they work to dishonor God and to destroy our peace and happiness. A story in the Bible tells about men who were possessed by demons. They lived in the cemetery. They went around naked, foaming at the mouth, and violent with uncontrollable anger. They injured themselves and were dangerous to everyone. People tried to chain them up, but the possessed men broke the chains. Jesus commanded the demons to leave the men, and the men returned to normal. They became gentle and intelligent. Nearby there was a large herd of about 2,000 pigs feeding, and the demons asked Jesus if they could enter into the pigs. Jesus allowed the demons to enter the pigs, and the pigs ran down the hill into the water and drowned. The people of the town forgot all about the blessings Jesus gave by healing the possessed men, and they became angry at Jesus for the death of the pigs. But Christ had a reason for allowing the demons to kill the pigs. The Bible teaches that pigs are unclean animals and should never be eaten as food. The people of the town were Jews, and they knew that God forbade the use of pigs for food, but they were raising the pigs to sell them and make money. Jesus wanted to teach them a lesson because what they were doing was wrong. The people did not know that if Jesus had not restrained the demons, they would have killed not only the pigs, but they would have killed the people who were raising the pigs also. So Jesus actually saved the lives of those unhappy pig farmers. There are many stories in the Bible of people who were possessed with demons. Not all of them suffered from the demons. Some people welcomed the evil spirits so they could gain supernatural power. The influence of evil spirits is still very real today. Many people follow the suggestions of evil spirits while they think that they are following their own thoughts. Satan wants people to believe that he is not real because he can more easily control the minds of those who think he doesn't exist. We lock our houses to keep our things safe from evil men, but we do not often think about the evil angels that are always trying to overcome us. We have no strength of ourselves to resist them or defend ourselves. Those demons can distract our minds and torture our bodies. They can destroy our possessions and our lives. The most dangerous thing we can do is resist God's call and yield to Satan's temptations until we are controlled by evil spirits. But we do not need to be frightened of Satan or of his demons, because in Jesus we can find safety and deliverance. If we follow Christ, he will keep us safe. He will send angels to protect us. Satan and his evil angels cannot break through the protection which God gives to his people.